Billions are on the move in cryptocurrency markets. A powerful sell-off has swept through the Bitcoin market, wiping more than dollars as $2,000, off the cryptocurrency's price in less than 72 hours, with investors instead pouring into Bitcoin cash, a spin-off crypto asset. Enormous whale trades, to the tune of hundreds of millions of US dollars, have been seen moving across global exchanges as a war between cryptocurrency factions heats up. Bitcoin is down 25% since last Wednesday's record high of about $1,7800, while Bitcoin Cash has more than doubled to $1,500 over the same four days. Investors have fled Bitcoin after a software upgrade planned for next week, which could have split the cryptocurrency in a so-called fork that was called off due to diminishing support. The planned split, known as segwit to x had intended to allow for more transactions to be processed at any given time, making fees for Bitcoin transactions much cheaper. Bitcoin Cash was another crypto asset created after the last software split on August 1 and its larger block sizes could potentially offer faster transaction times, say supporters. A war is being fought on exchanges, says Adrian Psilosi, chief executive of Independent Reserve an Australian cryptocurrency exchange. People who own a lot of Bitcoin, large holdings who have capacity to move the price have started doing that. It's caused a broader panic sell in Bitcoin and a panic buy in Bitcoin cash. Trading volume in Bitcoin cash over the last 24 hours was around $7.9 billion versus $8.6 billion for the original Bitcoin, according to CoinMarketCap. Rather than debate the technical solutions to scaling, the Bitcoin community has devolved into an antagonizing fight among developers and different fights among miners. For a period over the weekend it was more profitable to mine, verify, the Bitcoin cash block J than the original Bitcoin, causing further delays and congestion in the original Bitcoin block J. Further a Bernstein report last week found it cheaper and faster to use more traditional means of sending payments overseas than using Bitcoin. Most recently, CME, the world's largest futures exchange announced it would develop a cryptocurrency product for clients by the end of the year. The company says on its website that the Bitcoin futures will have specialized trading limits at 7, 13 and 20 percent, which is likely to limit exposure to extreme volatility. However, CME is still waiting for approval from the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Many have been waiting for some kind of price correction in Bitcoin, which began the year about US$1,000 a coin and has exploded to a total market capitalization of US$103 billion. Skeptics of the digital currency range from billionaire Warren Buffett to J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon, who have warned that the unregulated crypto asset is a speculative bubble in danger of bursting after its almost sevenfold increase this year.